Hello guys, I bought something pretty cool for my phone collection, almost new iPhone 3G. Today we will review it and play some old school games. Let's open the package and see what we have inside. In the box we have a standard iPhone charger and a charging cable. The phone comes pretty well packed. This is nice, they also send me SIM adapters. Later I will use my nano SIM to test the phone. And here is the phone itself. When it was released back in 2008 it cost 600 US dollars. Here you can see the prices without a contract for each new phone. So definitely it was not cheap phone back then. This phone is graded as 99% new. I bought it on the Chinese website Taobao for 25 US dollars as the condition determines the price of each phone they sell. So let's fire it up and see how it works in 2020, 12 years later from its release. This was the second generation iPhone which Apple announced back then, pretty old stuff. And here it is, nice and smooth, let's first change the language so we can dive deep into the phone. Let's check out some of the wallpapers with which the iPhone 3G comes. Unfortunately, this phone can only support wallpapers on the lock screen. Even though the display is pretty old technology, it still looks very bright. Let's test the ringtones and the speaker. I would say it sounds pretty good for the phone from 2008. This phone comes with the astonishing 128 megabytes of RAM and 8 gigs of storage. As you can see, it still has plenty of free space. The iPhone 3G has 3.5 inch display with 320 by 480 pixels. For comparison, Apple Watch 5 with a 1.73 inch display has 448 by 368 pixels. Now let's test the Wi-Fi. I found that loading the Apple's website is a bit slow. Probably it takes all the available RAM of the iPhone 3G to load the site. In order for this iPhone to work properly, we have to set the correct date. Let's compare the iPhone 3G to iPhone 11 Pro to see the evolution. The most noticeable change is the display. The new iPhones have grown in size a lot and now the entire front of the phone is one display, except of course the beautiful notch. The cameras on iPhone 11 Pro looks ridiculous compared to the iPhone 3G. This is 12 years of evolution, simply amazing. Now let's test the camera of the iPhone 3G. The phone has a 2 megapixel sensor. Unfortunately, it only can take pictures, video is not available. Even though now you may think that this picture quality is too bad, back in the 2008 this was a standard and this was just the beginning of the smartphones. I have already tested the iPhone 11 Pro with games. However, let's test this beast with some old school games. The games back then were pretty cool and the iPhone 3G doesn't have any problems to run them smoothly. The gaming experience on this phone is not too bad even today. Let's test the phone with a bit more heavy game, the Gangster West Coast. This game had a pretty impressive graphics for 2008. And let's not forget that iPhone 3G has only 128 megabytes of memory. Despite that, this game still runs very smoothly.
Now let's try to charge the phone to be sure everything is working properly. And yes, the phone is charging, no problems here. Last but not least, we will test the SIM card to be sure the phone is fully operational. And I already get some messages, now let's try to make a phone call. That's it guys, the iPhone 3G is a piece of history and I was lucky to find this one in such a great condition and I will keep it for my iPhone collection. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, don't be shy or I will turn your phone into iPhone 3G. Stay cool and I will see you soon.